Here's the Stansport 8 cup enamel coffee percolator which is one of the 9 best camping percolators that I review on this channel and we'll be testing brew time, usage, capacity and lots of other cool stuff in this video. In the box, you get the Stansport coffee pot with the percolator inside, four enamel mugs, and some instructions. I paid about 34 US dollars for it, but for the updated price as of now, you can use the affiliate links in the description below to check it out. Here are my personal measurements of the Stansport 8 cup enamel coffee percolator. Length from handle to spout about 7.5 inches or 19 cm, diameter of lid about 4.5 inches or 11 cm, diameter of base 6.5 inches or 17 cm, height firm base to perking knob 9.5 inches or 24 cm, weight of entire percolator 604 grams or 21.3 ounces, weight of each enamel mug 103 grams or 3.7 ounces, diameter of mug three and a half inches or nine cm, height of mug 3.25 inches or eight cm. For a size comparison, here's what the Stansport percolator looks like beside a 32 ounce and a 16 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top and it's made in China. If you're interested, here's how I make my own percolator coffee. For me, I use six ounces of water for one cup of coffee. I grind my medium roast coffee into a coarse grind. I use 10 or 11 grams of grounds for one cup of coffee, and I pour it into the filter basket. Next, I place the stem, filter basket, and spreader into the coffee pot, close the lid, and place the Stansport enamel percolator on the stove. My personal preference is to bring the water to a boil on medium heat and when it starts boiling you can see steam coming out of the spout. After I usually lower the heat slightly to a medium low heat and wait about 7 minutes before turning off the heat entirely. Then I let the percolator sit for a few extra minutes to allow the water in the filter basket to drain out and the grounds in the coffee to settle at the bottom before pouring it out to drink. This is just how I do it and how I use all my percolators but feel free to do whatever suits you best. For brew time, because the Stansport percolator does not have a perking knob, I looked at the time that steam started coming out of the spout, so hopefully this shows the amount of time it takes for the water to start boiling. Not as accurate as having a perking knob, but it was the best that I could do. At a 3 cup capacity or 18 ounces, it took 4.5 minutes to start seeing steam. At a 6 cup capacity or 36 ounces, it took 8 minutes and 15 seconds. Bear in mind that these are estimates and can change depending on different factors like the temperature of your water, the surrounding temperature, the amount of heat you use, and stuff like that. I used tap water at room temperature and brought it to a boil on medium heat. After seeing steam, I let the coffee percolate for about 7 minutes on medium low heat. This Stansport enamel percolator is marketed as an 8 cup coffee percolator, but when I filled it with 36 ounces or 6 cups, it boiled over just a little. I did not catch the boiling over, but there were coffee splatters on the pot, the stove, and the table. The Stansport percolator worked perfectly when I brewed 5 cups of coffee or 30 ounces. When I brewed 4 cups or 24 ounces, the coffee tasted diluted, even though I percolated it for more than 10 minutes. As for 3 cups or 18 ounces, it was just water with some grounds. This is because there wasn't enough water to go up the stem and spread over the grounds. My 32 grams of coffee grounds were hardly used. I also thought that the filter basket is a bit too small. When I packed it to the brim, it could hold at most 71 grams or 2.5 ounces of coarse ground coffee. Personally, I would not fill it to the brim because when water comes up the stem and spreads over the grounds, the filter basket would overflow and grounds would get into the coffee. When I brewed 6 cups of coffee with 64 grams of coarse grounds, the filter basket overflowed and grounds got into my coffee. When I brewed 5 cups of coffee with 53 grams or coarse grounds, there was less overflowing and grounds did not get into my coffee. So basically the Stansport percolator is good for brewing only 5 cups of coffee, no more and no less. The official instructions say a minimum of 4 cups is fine, but this did not work for me. The Stansport percolator only comes in this capacity, there are no other smaller or bigger options. As for the 4 enamel mugs, they each have a 12 ounce capacity.
The Stansport enamel percolator does not have any scale or cup level markings on the inside or outside of the coffee pot, which is a little inconvenient. And I can't even use the spout holes as a gauge because when I filled it with 36 ounces of water below the spout holes, it still boiled over a bit. The handle is made of the same material as the pot so it gets really hot after percolation and I needed to use a cloth around the handle. I also needed to use a cloth to hold the lid when pouring because the lid is super loose. The Sandsport enamel percolator also does not come with a perking knob so I had to use the steam coming out of the spout as a gauge. This is not a big issue outdoors where you can see the steam clearly in daylight but when I was indoors, it was much more difficult to see the steam. Here you can hardly see the steam, but there's actually a lot of it coming out. Also, without the perking knob, you can't see how dark your coffee gets. It does have a white base though, so it's pretty sturdy on the stove. And because I use a coarse grind, only a minimal amount of grounds got into my last cup of coffee when brewing 5 cups. If you find grinds in your coffee, you can either wet the filter basket or use coffee filter paper to line the basket. As for the 4 enamel mugs, the handles are not heat resistant either, so they get really hot when you pour piping hot coffee into it. The handles are not the biggest either. To clean up, just toss the grounds and run water through all the components of the Sandsport enamel percolator. They can be taken apart easily for a good washing. I found that percolating water is more effective at getting rid of the coffee bean oils. There's no information on it being dishwasher safe. The entire Stansport coffee pot, including the handle and the lid, is made from some sort of metal underneath with a kill hardened enamel finish. The stem, filter basket, and spreader are made of aluminum and feel a bit flimsy. Also, they don't sit firmly inside the pot and rattle about when I shake it gently. The Stansport coffee pot comes with a stainless steel rim, but the lid does not. So after some light usage, I can see a little bit of rust forming. It's a minimal, but it shows durability issues. The spout and the base are also showing the same signs of rusting. As for chipping, I did not notice any. I'm also not a big fan of this metal hinge that connects the lid to the handle. It feels flimsy and can be easily bent. Not sure how long it'll last. Another thing that I did not like about the Stansport percolator is that there were coffee stains on the pot out of the box, so I'm not sure whether someone used it before it was sold to me. And because these stains have been on the Stansport coffee pot for some time, I have not been able to wash them off, and I can still see them even after weeks of using and washing this. I did not like that at all. As for the enamel mugs, they seem to be of decent quality, and I had no issues with them apart from the handle getting hot. For pros, the Stansport enamel percolator is not too expensive, especially considering that you get 4 enamel mugs with it. However, for cons, it's definitely not an 8 cup capacity. In fact, the capacity is extremely limited and I could brew only 5 cups of coffee with it. Any more would boil over and I would have grounds in my coffee, and any less would taste diluted. It's also not the most user friendly because the handle is not heat resistant and there are no scale or cup level markings. I could not even use the spout holes as a gauge and there's no perking knob. And lastly, the quality is lacking with the slight bit of rust and the fact that I had stains on my coffee pot right out of the box. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button so this video can be seen by more people. Thank you and I really appreciate it. Would I recommend the Sandsport 8 cup enamel percolator? Well, I guess I can see why people might buy this percolator. It comes with 4 matching enamel mugs, which is a nice touch, it looks awesome, and there's no glass or plastic perking knob that could break. But if you're like me, and you don't need the enamel mugs, and you want to have a perking knob to see when the water starts boiling, then this is not a very good pick for a camping percolator. For me, I'm not a big fan of this because it's just not user friendly enough. The quality is not the best and there's not a lot of versatility with the capacity. I mean, I could percolate only 5 cups of coffee, no more and no less, it's just too limited. Overall, cons outweighed the pros and I don't think that I could recommend this as the best camping percolator. To find out which camping coffee percolator I actually recommend, check out this video where I bought, tested, and compared 9 of the best camping percolators. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.